All right, we're in Studio One here, and I'm going to talk about something today that most people don't know what it is, I think. I think most people don't know what it is. And I want to show you. I'm just going to drag in a synthesizer. Let's just drag in my time. Did you ever see a section in any one of the Personas or other plugins from other companies called LFO? You guys know what that is? It's kind of neater or more neat, whatever is most appropriate to say, than you would think. Um, here's Presence. It has two LFOs. So so did my tie. I even think Mojito. Does Mojito have one? Let's look. LFO. What's an LFO? It seems like a confusing thing. But check this out. It's really cool, and it could add a lot of um, character and coolness to your sound. If you if we type in oscillator or oscillate, O S C I L A T E, what does the word oscillate mean? Now we're getting somewhere. This isn't going to be like a, a difficult uh, lesson here. To oscillate is to move or swing back and forth at a regular speed. Let's see if we could see an image of it. If something's oscillating, it's going back and forth like these balls or a swing or a waveform. Okay, it goes up and or a fan. Do you ever see an oscillating fan? It's something that goes back and forth. Well, here's the deal. If you have something going back and forth at a fast enough speed, it makes a sound. And that's what waveforms are in, in like synthesizers and stuff. But if it goes at a slow speed, you don't hear it, but it can do cool stuff. In other words, let me just show you. I have my tie here. It's really loud. It's really loud on my end. Uh, I'm going to just tweak something here. Check, check. Here we go. Okay, so let's just take a, a Mai Tai note. I'm just going to initialize Mai Tai. Initialize. So now we got a boring sawtooth. I'm just going to draw a, a note for, from the sawtooth here. And it's going to repeat. Now, if we use an LFO, what that basically, what it basically stands for is low frequency oscillator, okay? Low meaning not a lot. Frequency is how frequent something happens, like how many times something happens and how fast something happens. Like I frequently go to the bathroom if I have bladder problems. Okay, that's one way to use that. And but I don't, I'm just saying that was an example. Or an oscillator is like we just discussed, something that goes up and down. So a low frequency oscillator is something that moves up and down or side by side frequently, but not a lot. <laughs> Cuz L is low, frequency is how much, and oscillator is movement. So it's something that moves back and forth, but not a lot, not too fast. And check it out. If we turn on an oscillator, this little light will show us how fast it's oscillating. See, that's oscillating at that speed. Bing, 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 bing. And we could change the speed of the oscillator here, make it faster or slower. Like that. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it's cool if a light does it, but how can we make it affect our sound? Well, this LFO is a tool. We could assign it to almost anything on our synthesizer, or if, if you're using presence, almost anything in your instrument to affect that sound. See, so we got it going now. The oscillator's going. You can see the light. It's on and it's gone. But what is it affecting? Nothing. We actually have to go down in the mod section here. And I'm just going to pick column two because column one's already um, filled with stuff but we don't have to we could ignore that just go to column two and pick lfo1 out of the list because this is the thing that we want to use to change our sound and then at the very bottom it's going to ask us well what's the target that's what it's called the target what are we trying to affect with our sound and we could pick from all these options I'm going to pick the cutoff filter, which is this big knob, which we like to turn when we're messing around with synthesizers. So I'm going to put it like down the middle. Now this oscillator is going to affect that. Watch. 
Okay, you hear the sound that we created? It's not oscillating. Why not? Because this little lever here determines how much of the oscillation happens. Check this out. You see what I did? I turned up this fader, and now it's oscillating this knob at that speed. I hope this makes sense. I can, and I could speed it up. Slow it down. And not only that, I can change the waveform of the oscillation. Here, there's a sawtooth. Triangle. Square. And random. It's a weird one. Let's just use this one for now. So now that it's affecting my tie, I could play things with my tie. Oh, my, my MIDI controller is not on, sorry. And we can hear that the oscillator, the low frequency oscillator is still affecting it. So let's record something. Tempo two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it was already set at 120. Let's just keep it at that and click this baby. And then play some. Two, three, four. Oops, it's looping. Let's try it again. Quantize it and let's play it and put it on a loop. And let's look at my tie. You can see it's oscillating at that speed. We can speed it up. Add some effects. And remember, this is how much it's affecting the signal. So let's add some drums. that drum. Let's try another one. These are cool drums, but I don't like them. They don't fit. Nah, there's too much going on. I need some, I need more like a, just an electronic kind of slammy beat. Let's see what we got here. Any drum mix? Mm. Yeah, let's just put that in for now just to give us something. Like it's kind of punchy. It's pretty hard hitting. You get the idea. Uh, is there hi hats in here? It's interesting. All right. So you get the idea, though, of what an LFO does. It changes. Well, it's low, so it's slow. And its frequency is how fast it's moving, and oscillating is moving back and forth. I don't know how else to describe it. Now, we can make it not just affect 
the cutoff, say we wanted to make it affect the tuning. We could use LFO2. It's another spare one that's just sitting here doing nothing. And we're going to sync it to the tempo of the song. That's what sync is. And so we're going to pick LFO2 out of this list. And let's use this one to adjust the pitch of maybe oscillator one here. Let's see. Pitch. And let's see how this sounds now. It's going to sound, might sound kind of funky. It doesn't sound any way, really. Let's turn off the first one. Oh, oscillator two pitch. That's why we want oscillator one pitch. Here we go. There we go. It's pretty neat, actually. That sounds like my cat when she wants to eat food. Interesting, right? Why don't we put in a bass line and see how we could uh, we can LFO it. LFO it all up. Let's try presence and bring in a bass line. Maybe vintage bass plucked. Okay, let's try that. All right, now let's see how we could use the LFO on this. Because Presence has an LFO too, right here. And it's on. I don't know what it's doing. Let's go in modulation. It's doing stuff over here. So I don't even know what it's doing over here. I'm confused. But let's just use LFO 2 because LFO 2 is not being used. So let's turn on LFO. All right, so turn it on. And let's pick it here, LFO 2. And what do we want the target to be? Let's have the target be, let's have the target be pitch. And let's sync it to the tempo of the song. And let's hear how it sounds now when we're adjusting it to adjust, to mess with the pitch. Ooh, that's cool. It's pretty neat. So you can have fun with LFOs. Can you see how much fun you can have? All right, what else can we adjust? Attack? Volume? So you see, it, we actually gave the bass some movement now. I mean, it's got it's got movement. It sits cool in the mix. On its own, it sounds kind of wild, but in the mix, it's we might want to keep it. It sounds interesting. Thank you. 
So moving it to the left here is kind of putting it in reverse and put moving it to the front is forward. So it just affects when and when the actual LFO starts or what direction the LFO is going. <laughs> Now, cool thing is we can we can have one LFO adjust uh, or mess around with another LFO, I think. Um, this is the amount. Let's see if we can have the LFO 1 adjust the amount of LFO 2. So is there LFO 2 frequency or LFO 2 amount? I don't see amount, but... Maybe frequency. I don't know. Let's have it just that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Anyway, you get the idea about <clears throat> what LFOs can do. Um, I hope I explained it well. It took a little while to get warmed up and really explain it to the best of my abilities. But you should use, you should use LFOs because they're all over the place. You're going to see them just everywhere in different in different plugins and different instruments and not even persona stuff, but all over the place. So there's um, lots of uses for them. Just think of them though, as something that's low, not moving fast and going like this. If you can see the picture of me in the corner back and forth. And it's just the speed at which you go back and forth is the frequency of the LFO. So LFOs, low frequency oscillators. <laughs> 